So we are back and last the last episode of the town career mode it went kind of tits up and we lost the top of the table. Our spot. We deserved it. So since we've lost that, we're gonna go back and claim it back. Hopefully, it depends, we can't really come control it. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I keep doing this. But anyway, so what we're gonna be doing first is getting some contract sword, because I've got six people risk at least basically the contracts are running out. So, let's see what we can do and if we want them. Okay, so Hudson is one and it's a kind of if. You know what? No, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him just purely because of his age. Training is more valuable. We'll be keeping you down in the squad. We've got Lolly next. Lolly definitely staying in the squad as well. Hog again is one of. It's, it's standard, really. It's just our main team for some reason. All contracts are about to run out. It's just standard stuff. I'll probably be done when it's finished. Okay, so as I said, I did say I wanted to start playing free games, but because it might be a bit risky, I might not. I'm depends. After the depends on how I feel after these two games. So we've got Brighton first, away. Let's just see how it ends. So we're hitting up the away kit. The team is quite off. But this seems like one of our big games. I've forgotten what we have after this. But I think we should play a more or less full team here. So Wells is gonna come up front. And the front line is practically gonna stay the same. Pong is gonna come in, in the middle for Dino. And I've, other than that. I think we can leave it practically exactly the same. I'm going to bring Flubbush as just in case. And obviously, we're dropping the big boy, Davidson. Alright, so we are still considered the least goals in the league. And I believe we still scored the most in the league. Today's where we prove it against the big boy, Brighton. Will we prove it? I don't know, to be honest. Let's see if we can on a away day. Oh, that's a nice throw ball. Chilwell. Chilwell, of all people, is through in this position. He's going to keep going. He's going to keep going. Referee, that could be a free penalty kick. Foul, free shot. Yeah, we'll just change it to basketball terms. No worries. Nice, Patterson. Patterson breaking through the middle. Has he made space? He has made space. He has made space and has kicked it against Wells' legs. You see, when a striker can just let it get kicked against his legs, you know he's got the talent. Mad. Mad. I don't understand how they get so much space out of fucking nowhere and then they just do that. They just do that. Okay, you know it's time for a substitution when the game's so dead to the point that you just concede for AIDS. Ive is not done a good start. I haven't said English, but he has not had a good start. Silo's coming on. Scala, I haven't seen him much of the game, but he's been better than Patterson. So Patterson's getting dropped. For Dempsey. Ooh, the swerve. And then Scala is still going to get dropped anyway for Lolly. Not bringing Iron Atra on. Wells can grab the goals, he's just had no service, so let's see if this helps. Go on, Hughes. What? Oh, that should have gone to Wells, he was through. He was through, Wells was through. Wells is actually through. Oh my god, nah, please. Nice, boys! Lolly with the goal. Lolly with the nice goal. He just clutched that. He clutched that ball. One all, we're back into it. Let's grab some more goals. Title could still be ours. Considering that if I draw this and if I stay like exactly where I am now, this will be my fourth draw. Oh my god. Anyway, this will be my fourth draw in a row, and that's just dropping points on a mad level. On the edge and again, and again, and again. Mad, how is Hughes buying that? How is Hughes buying that? He's curled it around the keeper. It's 2 1. Quick succession, about 8 minutes of game time. So I already scored one so far today. Hughes is there. I think Hughes is going to grab his second. Hughes has grabbed his second. He turned in from a long range striker, practically, at the start of the season, and he's now become a close range finisher. Oh my god, Hughes has got the wonder ball there. Hughes has won the ball there. He's fed it off. Wells, finish that! Just feed it for Basilo for the fourth of the game. About to say third, realise it was the fourth. The dominating burners have been turned on. Oh, Wells. Please break through. Oh, God, why did he pull my... It's still a goal. Surely it's still a goal. It's 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. I I have no more words to say. Five goals, and I kind of ran out of things to commentate over the game. So, you know, just not, don't let me score five goals. He's through himself. He's through himself. We're going to go for a sweaty goal, though. Naki Wells is going to grab an F1. 6-1. 6-1. I don't know what a highest scoring game is against anyone but I thought Brighton were a good team. I swear they were slightly high up. That is full time. It was a quick, easy game. It felt quicker than normal. It wasn't, but we won 6-1. After that goal we considered at first, we just dominated the shit after them into the second half. Now, let's just move on with those three points into the next week against QPR. 
we could dethrone them again. Basically, we are two points behind QPR. If we get three points from this game against QPR, which will mean they can't get any, we go above them in the league. It all depends on that point. If Cardiff City win, if Cardiff City draw, then we stay ahead. If we win, we are still behind them, but QPR are behind all of them. At, at worst, back in second. At best, all the way up into first. Let's go. Okay, so big news I didn't realize that happened. Jed Steer was on, I knew him fast, yeah I do remember, he was on a half season low. And I didn't realise the game actually knew that, I thought it was just going to give us the whole season. So he's been dropped back over to Aston Villa. So we've lost Jed Neuer. So we've got Joe Murphy in there for the first time in a very, very long time. I'm going to play the game like that, and then I'm going to see if we can drop a few players off. I've got a tactic that I saw in James Bexford, who also does... Uh, Huddersfield Town Career Mode, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out. Basically what he did was, he tried to sell Vaughn, and I'm going to attempt to do the same thing. Pretty much so we can get those coin coins, just money, money in general, and we can make a few tiny signings. I want to save most of it for the next transfer, it won't carry over. We're, basically I'm doing it for money. Okay, so we're playing a full team against them, full, full team. And Murphy is in there for the first time in a very long time, and let's just go straight into it. So we're away against QPR. We're facing the top goal scorer in the entire league right now. Peter Crouch, of all people, he's going to take it in himself. He's going to take it in himself. He's going to feed Iannaccio in there at the last minute, and it's snuck in off the defender, but that's still going to count as Iannaccio's goal. 1-0 up against QPR, and what did I say? We're taking them down. Taking them down a few pegs as I natural grabs another goal to his tally. Right, so I hope they don't take many shots because I don't know how Joe Murphy really works. I've never really seen him in action in my career modes or for a long while. So let's see if he can save. I natural's there. Please, can you get that? I've either got that straight through on goal, but no, no. And we've lost the ball and it's now throwing. My left stick is extremely broken and I can just tell from the fact that the, my players aren't running in the right direction. But I'm, I'm soldiering on and I'm hoping to still get a win because I just don't want it. I'm not ending because my controller decides to be a gimp. I'm not doing that. Okay, second half, let's go. And it actually is going our way. It actually is going our way. Can we cut in? That is the question. Can we score? That is the question. We can score. Patterson? It's Patterson. It's 2-1 away. Can we hold it this time? And is my left stick going to be in a complete gimp and make me lose? I'm really sorry if I haven't shown you much, by the way, but they just haven't allowed any action to happen. This is against two teams very close to the top. I was expecting a decent game myself, but it's just been really dull. Like, every time I speak so far, I've had an attack. And that cross is absolutely diabolical, and now we're going to be back to passing for about half an hour, so goodbye. Please, Iron Acho, please get through there. Please, 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 please. He slipped it inside the goalkeeper. It went through his body. It went through his body. But we're 3 1 up, and I think we could have just sealed off a win. Such a boring game. You can't make good games. Now I'm gonna concede. I. I didn't. Their goalkeeper's up. Their goalkeeper's up. And I. You can shoot now. And you can, that, that's going for a throw-in. That's going for a throw-in. That's going for a throw-in. It's full time. We've actually managed to get two wins. One back on business, boys. Two wins in a row. Now we can rest a bit-ish. Not really, because I want to stay at the top. We've beaten the team at the top. I actually got two goals today, which is a pretty good haul. And let's see where this puts us in the league. Okay, I didn't realize we are having a game straight afterwards. This is a simming game. But because we ended up on such a... Big play, I'm not going to sim it. And I know you might be thinking, yeah, he said I was going to sim it, and now I'm not going to sim it. And it's purely because I just don't want to fuck up what we've had so far. Sometimes I'll choose to sim. I don't really think it can be always every time, because there's too many crucial games we could miss out on just because I've made this stupid rule. So, I'm going to train, and then I'm going to show you around the league. Okay, so the top of the table looks like this. The fight is close at the top. It's now kind of broken a bit off to the top three. But I can't count the out, to be honest, in fourth. But basically, we've got Cardiff on top with 53 points. Because they did win their game, as I thought. So, they're still on top. We move into second with the win over QPR, which we won against. So, they're still in third. They're in third now, but with the same points total on 51. So, there's a point gap between us all. If any of us slip up, we could fall further back. It's been a good start. It's been a good start. 24 games into the season. I'm hoping to continue into the season. Still top goal scorers. Still considered the least, we can take that into the season knowing we've done well. If you've got any suggestions for, let's say, different teams and stuff, or 
What I should do, should I still get Vaughn off his loan, sell him, and then hopefully get some more money so I can sign someone else? Some of the signings that you suggested earlier on that I haven't been able to do, or should I just leave it as it is and wait till the end of the season? It's your choice, you basically your control. So if you guys did enjoy, smash the like button if you're new and don't forget to hit subscribe on both of the things are down below. Check out my second channel as well, because I've never told you to do it, so you please do. It's always there in the description. <laughs> and yeah, see you guys in the next video and see you.